Okay, you little piece of magnetic resonance, you know what to do. Casting a spell, are you, uh. Cynthia? <clears throat> Perhaps Kirkland was right about you being that wicked stepmother. Are you afraid I'm going to unleash my evil powers against you? Uh-uh. I'm wondering what you're doing with that tape. Oh, I'm trying a little visualization technique that I picked up somewhere. Oh, yeah? In one of the many, uh, psychiatric facilities you've frequented? <laughs> Don't knock creative visualization. It works. Yeah? What are we visualizing today? Well, today we're visualizing that you will finally see Vicki McKinnon for what she is. Because when you give her this tape, she's going to go straight to Jill Carlino with it, and then you will see that all she wants is to destroy you. Third cup of coffee? I didn't get a lot of rest last night. I remember I was there. I mean, after that, I couldn't sleep. I just couldn't stop thinking about how I almost got that tape from Grant. Yeah. I can't... I cannot believe that he handed it over that easy. I mean, he's got to be up to something. Maybe, but I swear he was about to give it to me, and then Cindy walked in and ruined everything. What, where, where are you going? I'm going over to see Grant again. No, no, you, you can forget that, okay? Jake. Excuse me. Jake. Oh, hey. great, great, great. Um, Vicki, very, very sorry. I'm glad you're here. I need you. I can do something, Chris. I need you, too. So what, are we going steady now? No, uh, Vic, do me a favor and, and call Grant and invite him over. What are you talking about? We're... Call I'm going... Invite him over. Just make sure he gets over here right away. Okay? Right. Trust me on this. Everything, everything is going to work out. Cufflinks. Shirt. Check. Tux. Tux. Where's my tux? Oh, where's my tux? I can't marry a Corey in a blue suit. I don't even own a blue suit. Whoever you are, I can't do this right now. I gotta find my tux. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I stopped by last night and saw it draped over a chair, collecting wrinkles, so I snuck it out and got a press for it. I told him he should tell you, but he wanted to surprise you. Yeah, well, I would have brought it back earlier, but Josie and I spent just a little extra time in bed this morning. It's a little bit more information than I need again. It's not what you're thinking. The baby kicked me. Get out of here. I should, uh, probably get going. I still have to get my dress, so, um, Cameron, in case I don't get a chance to tell you later, I want to wish you all the happiness in the world. Mm. Thanks, Josie. That means a lot to me. Mm. What, I don't get a kiss? Oh, <laughs> I was saving the best for last, huh? Mm. I'll see you later. Yes, you will. Okay. You nervous? Yeah. <laughs> Woke up this morning, I'm thinking, man, I'm getting married today. You, uh, want to know the secret to a great marriage? What's that? Well, first, you gotta be willing to hear every story seven times and act just as interested every time. That's all there is to it? Well, you gotta like the same kind of food so you can eat off each other's plates in restaurants and laugh at each other's bad jokes and deal with each other in the morning before you've had your coffee. So that's all you have to do? Well, that and great sex, but, you know, I figure you got that one covered. Naturally. Naturally. <laughs> nah, but the number one... The number one secret to a great marriage is honesty. You've gotta be able to tell each other everything. No matter what it is. That's what I've got with Josie. That's what keeps us together. Oh, no. Is that a sit? Oh, I can't possibly have a sit on the happiest day of my life. Morning. Mom. What? Is this a sit? Oh, my gosh. That's not what? just a blemish. That's a volcano. I don't see anything. Okay, that was a good answer. <laughs> I just came in to make sure you have everything you need to be a bride. You know, something brown and blue and all that. Oh, gosh. I was in such a hurry to do this wedding, I forgot all about those I things. I know, I sort of did, too. Okay, I, I have a, a bracelet from Paulina. She said it was a good okay. luck charm of first, so that's something borrowed. Okay, works for me. Something new? Well, I have this little gift that I bought for Cameron for the wedding night, and I'm, I'm wearing it. Um... 
No. Oh, okay, I get it, I get it. Okay. <laughs> All right, good. Okay. I don't have anything blue, though. Oh, well, now you do, because, you see, I wanted to give you something special. Something that would come just from me. And so I went through my jewelry box looking for something from Grandma. Yeah. And I realized with all the weddings we've had, I don't have anything of Grandma's left. I've given it all away. <laughs> I think I have most of that. Yes, you probably do. But I did come up with this. I wore this pin when I married your father. Oh, Mom, it's lovely. Well, it's not very expensive. Well, who cares? Well, Iris did. She took one look at it, and then at me, and appraised us downward. Well, she was upset because she was... Losing her daddy to you, that's all. Mm. And because I wasn't from patrician stock like the rest of the quarries. But your father's and my love was worth fighting for. This isn't about a pin, is it? No. It just reminded me of how much courage it took for the two of us to decide to go ahead with that marriage. Me coming from simple working class background, marrying into his family. I couldn't have done it without him. Because he made me believe I was capable of being the woman he saw. Cameron knows what he's getting into. He's okay with it. And that young man is very courageous. <laughs> and it looks to me like the love he has for you is genuine. And the moment it isn't, I'll kill him. So, you see, you have a good chance of being happy for once. Thanks, Rob. <laughs> I will be very honored to wear it. So now I've got something blue. I'm just uh, missing something old. Yes, well... I think I have that covered, too. I decided to give you this. This was one of the presents your father gave me on our wedding day. Mom, it's beautiful. Do you remember this music box? I used to play it for you all the time. You would always ask me to play it, especially when something was wrong with your world or something was wrong with my world. And we'd get the music box out, and I'd open it up, and we'd listen to the music, and I'd look at your little face. And all of a sudden, everything would be right with the world. And then your father died, and I couldn't even bear to look at this little music box. So when I went to get it for you, I found it wasn't working anymore. You had it fixed? Yes, for you. Because today, for you, everything is right with the world. talking during the sermon. But I really need your help. I, I hope you can at least hear me. I, I know it sounds kind of cheesy, but could you give me some kind of sign or something? Because I don't know what to do. I mean, do I let my mom marry Cameron when I know what a creep he is? Or met Cameron. I was, I was so lost. And he was running for his life. And, uh, he took one look at me, and he realized that I needed someone to talk to. So he stopped. Run. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he was just so sensitive and kind, and he had this smile that just lit up the night. Yes, he does. He has a great smile. It took me a while, though. I always wondered which Cameron was the real one. Was it the, uh, the ex-con with the smart mouth? Or was it the guy on the hill, the runner with the heart of gold? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been there. You know what that's like? Yeah. 
Yes, you were. Hmm. <laughs> well, the guy on the hill, that's the real Cameron Sinclair. That's the one that I am blessed to marry today. I know I've been kind of a, a pain to my mom lately. And, and sometimes she drives me nuts. But she's my mom. And I love her. I almost told her last night at the rehearsal, but... But then Paulina started in on her speech about family, and I just... I couldn't do it. I didn't want to hurt her. She's just been so happy. I mean, but then, if she gets married and she finds out, it'll kill her. So, so basically, I'm, I'm totally clueless. Could you just give me a sign or something? So anyway, I, what you need to do is grab the coach. I, I, I'll I, take I, I, you right from the car. Let's go. Um, let's get Oliver. He's on his way over. Great. He'll have absolutely no idea he's being watched. What are you talking about? We decided it was too risky for you to be here. I won't. Chris will. Not unless you know another Chris. Have you not been listening to me, man? I, fi I, I finally hit pay dirt on this contact over at the union. I got a guy ready to go on the record about the extortion racket, and he's waiting for us now. Wait. All it right. can wait. The hell it can wait, man. We've been trying to crack this case for, for three months. So what? Another couple hours is not going to make any difference at all. No, you know what? He, he's right. Don't, don't, lose, don't lose the story because of me. Vicky, we're not going to lose any story, okay? Chris is just going to stay here and make sure that Grant doesn't, doesn't pull any funny business. Then we'll go meet Mr. Extortion and everybody will be happy. All right, fine. Can I at least call the guy and ask him if he'll wait for us uh, maybe for a couple hours or something? And if he says no, don't blame me. No problem. It's gonna, everything's going to be fine. Yeah, the last time he said that, I ended up in a dress. <laughs> I'm just uh, happy Chris will be here. Well, I'm happy you're happy, but it's not necessary. Nothing's going to happen. Last time you said that, you ended up in a basement. Oh, is that it? Is that what you're worried about? <laughs> that I'm going to get hurt, or...? Why else would I be worried? <laughs> I don't know. Couldn't imagine. I mean, couldn't possibly be that you were a little worried that Grant might get the wrong idea. Well, I'm not exactly ecstatic about you pretending to fall all over him and... and not exactly getting along with me, no. I'm gonna make it a lot worse than that. Oh, that's supposed to make me feel better. <laughs> Listen, I love you. I hate him. So, hey, Vicky, that doesn't mean I have to like any of this. Although it might be a little kinky if you did. Okay, squash the kinky talk, I'm back. Reschedule? You know, he wasn't happy about it, but I talked him into meeting us in a few hours. Great. This is exactly what we do. You will find a place that you can observe this whole room and make sure that Grant cannot spy you. Oh, well, that should be a piece of cake. Come on, you work something out. Just lay low, make sure you didn't pull any funny business with her. And so where are you going to be while I'm playing Invisible Man? Oh, I'll be with Marley. I'm sorry, it sounded like you said Marley, <laughs> as in the same Marley that kidnapped your wife and nobody else sees a problem with this. You see, it's all part of our plan. He's getting close to Marley while I'm getting close to Grant. <laughs> Plan. Great. Whatever works. Right. You see, we're hoping that uh, we can get them to spill the beans and let us know exactly what happened the night that Vicky was kidnapped. Yeah. Okay. We need to put this whole rotten mess behind us. Let me tell you something. Grant lays one hand on you. Hey, and he's a dead Jake. Man. No pressure, but um, I'm counting on you. For real, though, Vicky. I mean, you've hated Grant for a long time. Do you really think he's gonna buy this old warm and fuzzy routine? I mean... I don't know. We'll see soon enough. He's, he's almost here. <sighs> oh, I think I've got this job. Uh, uh, okay, all right. Let oh, me no. Let me take a crack at I'm it. I'm not gonna walk down the aisle with this thing gaping oh, open. Just calm down. That's calm not down. supposed to happen here. I'm a mother. <laughs> if you'll excuse me, I'm just gonna... You just touch up my makeup. Well, you're leaving them in another zipper crisis? Let's hope this is the only one you have to stop. If you're going to live in this household, then I suggest you behave like a member of this family. 
Oh, so now I'm a member of this family. Except before or after you ask me to leave this house. Matthew's the one who wants you to stay, and I'm honoring his wishes. You know where I want to be. I want to be with Cass. And that's exactly where I would be if Matthew wasn't holding our child as hostage. But I tend to agree with Matthew. You may go wherever you like, but that little baby is staying in this house. Well, I'm here. And I'm here for Amanda. But that doesn't mean I have to like it. What's with her? Uh, I think she and Matt are having some problems. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Why don't you just let her out of this? Why? She's still my sister-in-law. She's still Jasmine's mother. She's family. And she always will be. Hey. Hmm? You all right? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm just happy to have a sister who thinks like that. I just wish everyone thought like that. You're early. I know, but you know me. Well, no, you don't know me very well, but if you did, you know how much I love classical architecture. This is a fascinating chapel. I'm about to be going. Allie, Allie, wait, wait. You still... You still seem upset. Do you want to talk about it? What am I saying? This isn't any of my business. Actually, you already know about it. We, we talked about it yesterday. I did some detective work, like you said. You... You went ahead with that? And I found out something I didn't want to know. About Cameron? So what do I do? Wow. Well, I guess you got to do what you think is right. I, just, I don't know what that is. Is this something that could ruin the festivities today? Well, unless you're ready to destroy any chance your mother and Cameron have of being together, I, I suggest you keep the secret to yourself. Thanks. For what? For helping me decide what I'm gonna do. Where's Allie, honey? Oh, I, I went into her room early this morning, and she was already up and out. I hope she's all right. She'll come around. Yeah. Huh? She will. Hopefully before she's 30. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I should go check on her. I'll make sure she's ready. Wait, wait. The next time I see you, you're going to be walking down the aisle. And I... Good luck, honey. I love you so much. Well, thanks, Paulina. I love you, too. Suppose you tell me what's wrong. <laughs> that obvious? Honey, you've teared up three times and it's not even the wedding yet. Well, you know me, it doesn't take much to get the waterworks going and I'm just... I'm really happy for Amanda. No, it's more than that, isn't it? He said we're bringing someone new into the family. How did you know? Who told you? No one had to tell me. I watched your face yesterday when you were welcoming Cameron into this family. You really felt for him, didn't you? I just, it brought back memories, you know, when I first came here and how hard it was to feel like I belonged. Yes, but you found your place in this family. And so were Cameron. But Rachel, when you found out who I was, it was hard for you to believe that I was really Mac's daughter. It was impossible. I didn't know anything about you, neither did Mac, and he was dead. He never even knew you existed. I just wish I knew him. I wish he was here right now. You know what? what? Tears would be streaming down his face, too, you know? <laughs> he would be very proud of his girls. So that's where I get the waterworks. Uh -huh. And the shape of your face. And the fact that you're so loyal to the people you love. And so fair. There's all sorts of things that remind me about him and you. And that gives me a lot of comfort. Thank you. Oh, thank you for the, telling me this, especially today. Oh, sweetie. 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 Allie? Allie. Hi, 
Hey, honey, I've been looking all over for you. Listen, I better find Lila and get over to the chapel. You look great. Thanks. <laughs> Take it easy on her. You look nice. Where have you been? I was looking everywhere. Oh, I, I was at the chapel, and then I went for a walk in the woods. You got a lot on your mind today. If you don't mind, I really don't want to talk about it. Okay. Um, look, whatever it is, if it's upsetting you, or if you want to tell me, I'm here. I know. Is that all? No. No, there's one other thing. Uh, this is a very important day for me. I'm marrying the man that I love. And I want you to know that I love you, too. You know that, right? Okay. If there's one thing that you can do that would just make this day perfect for me, would be if you could, just for today, at least try to be happy for me, too. Sure, I guess. Are, are you gonna get that? Hello. Hey. You sound like a cute chick. You available? Oh, for the next 20 minutes or so, but then I'm marrying the most wonderful man in the whole world. <laughs> Lucky guy. What are you doing calling me? You're supposed to be on your way here. Well, I figured since I can't see the bride before the wedding, at least they can hear her voice. I'm glad you called. Why? Something wrong? Oh, everything's perfect. Except for Ellie, of course. She's barely cracking a smile, let alone talking to me. Well, we kind of figured this would happen. I just was hoping that she would at least try to be happy for today. It doesn't even make a difference what I do. Miss Hudson, your favorite visitor's on his way, Mr. McKinnon. No, tell him I'm not here because I, I, I can't see him right now. I can't, I can't see him. Why not, Marley? Why, why can't you see me? I'm sorry about last night, the way Cynthia reacted. Oh, Grant, it's not your fault. I mean, you can't control Cindy. Yeah, I'm afraid that nobody can control that woman. I actually had to take that tape and flee my own apartment. I was afraid she'd... Try something when I was sleeping. Really? Are you uh, still still planning on giving me that tape? I said that I would. I do try to be a man of my word. Well, I know you try to be. Maybe you're right. If you don't mind, I'd like to go back to that night for a minute. Before I was shot, before you were abducted. I felt like there was a, a moment there when we could be friends. At least that's how it seemed to me. I've always believed there's... there's good in you, Grant. And that's why I am uh, willing to... put my future in your hands. Are you sure that's a good idea? You're a fair, decent woman. You'll do the right thing. The decision is up to you. You decide to turn this over to the police. And I can accept that. And I can accept the consequences. You are definitely the most beautiful woman in this room. You know, for someone who says the wrong thing so much, it's nice that you can say the right thing. You will please too. Let me join you for this most beautiful occasion. <laughs> oh, if I had known you were bringing your chauffeur, oh. I would have asked you for a lift. Very funny, very funny. Thank you. I'm surprised to see you here. Yeah? Well, you're public enemy number one for certain Corey family members. Amanda invited me weeks ago. I wouldn't want to miss her wedding. No, of course you wouldn't. Nothing about 
Lila being here, that wouldn't be it, would it? Nothing at all. No. Just gonna fix your tie. I know, but it's it's this wedding stuff. It puts me in a romantic mood. Yeah? Makes me think of our wedding. Which one? The one with the bullets or the quiet one? No, the quiet one. When we finally went through with it. It was the second happiest moment of my life. The second? What was your first? Well, it hasn't happened yet. But it will soon. Today our baby's gonna be born. We should probably even get inside. They're gonna miss us. Hey. Hey, buddy, you made it. <laughs> I almost said three wrecks on the way. <laughs> you nervous? I'm all right. I think I'm, I'm going to be fine. It'll be fine. You'll be fine. Hey, by the way, where'd you park? Hey, if you got any ideas about putting tin cans on my <laughs> car when it just married so you can forget it. <laughs> traditions are traditions. All right. Is everyone here? Uh, everyone except... Well, here we go. All right. All present and accounted for. Well, let's get started. Cameron, you and your brother can join me at the front of the church as soon as the processional music begins. Got it. Okay, don't faint on us. Ah. <laughs> it's cute. Uh -huh. All right, so that it's, it's you, and then it's you, and then it's me, and then it's Allie, and then... Allie? Allie? Oh, she, 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 she. All right. Mm, you look great, too. Okay, come on. Uh, let's go, guys. Um, all right. See you inside, guys. All right, now you, you um, Ellie, you're going to go out right before your mom, okay? And all we need is a bride. Right, there she is. Oh, man, you look so beautiful. You look really stunning. Oh, such a great day. I'll you take care of it. Don't go. No, maybe I should. No, you already tried. Let me give it a shot. Well, what am I supposed to tell everybody? That we're having technical difficulties? Just tell everybody to stay put. I'm going to be right back with Allie. Excuse me. Well, since last night, I don't know what it is. It's gotten so much worse. Yes, but after I talked with her, I thought she was coming around. You talked to her, too? I'm trying to get her through this. And I thought I was making some progress, until now. I mean, what set her off this time? I wish I knew. Allie? Yeah. Allie, wait. What can I say? Nothing that you probably haven't heard from your mom a million times already. Maybe you just need to hear this from me. I love your mom, Allie. I love her like nothing else in the world. And I swear to you, I will do everything in my power to make her happy. You love my mom, huh? With all my heart, with all my soul, with everything that I have. Great. Who else do you love, Cameron? What is it, Marley? Why, why can't you talk to me? I is, and I'm just really, I'm so tired. I should probably just go to bed. Look, I can see you're hiding something behind your back. Why don't you let me take a look at it, okay? <laughs> it's, not, it's nothing. <laughs> Let's take a look at it. You really, you, Jake, you, you probably shouldn't because you just get hurt. When did you get this? Last night on my dinner tray. You know, it probably just came from one of the why, patients. Why would someone inside here threaten me and then tell you to keep quiet? Oh, I don't know, There's only one person, don't exactly one think... person who would do this. Grant. Yes. And that's why, that's why you should just leave it alone. You can get hurt. No, I... He can't hurt me, not anymore. How do you know? Because I'm on to him. He knows it. He's desperate. That's why he wrote that note. Yes, and that's why you should just leave it alone. No. He can't hurt me anymore. He's gonna go to jail if you help. And you need to talk to me and tell me everything you know. If it will keep Grant from hurting you, I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything. So why don't we, uh, why don't we start with the tape? The one with Grant's confession. Oh. Uh -oh. You get... 
to Vicky that night. What about it? Is there any way that Grant could still have that tape? <laughs> no. That's impossible. You sure? There's absolutely no way Grant has that tape. I guess I could say my fate is in your hands. Um, wh whoever it is, I'll, I'll get rid of him. Hello? Look, it's me. Uh, Grant's still there. Pretend like I'm somebody else. <clears throat> no, no. I, I, I don't need another septic system. I, mine's fine. Look, did, uh, did Grant give you the tape yet? Yes. It's a fake, Vic. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't understand. I just talked to Marley. She said there's no way that Grant could have that tape. He's setting you up. Uh-huh. And what do you recommend I do? Just go along with it. Don't let him know that you, uh, that you know anything. I told you I don't need another septic system. Thank you very much. Jeez. I'm telling you. These, uh, salesmen can just drive you crazy. Uh, Grant, where were we? The tape. You were about to tell me what you were going to do with it. Well, I think it's pretty obvious what I, what I'm going to do with it. I mean, you... You supplied Paulina with drugs. You tried to break up her marriage. You burned down her house. Not to mention the many things you did to me. The pain you caused me. The... Yeah, I made some mistakes, all right. So I think it's pretty obvious what I need to do with the tape. I need to go over and give it to Joe. Which is exactly what I'm... what I'm not going to do. You're not? Yeah. I'm not. I just, I just couldn't bear, after everything Kirkland's been through with me, to think of him losing you, too, so. You don't know what this means to me. Oh, yes, I do. It means you're off the hook. No. You had a chance to destroy me, and you didn't. Yeah, well, I did it for myself, too. What do you mean? I told you, I... You know, Jake and me, I don't, I don't know. I, I just, I need to know that, that you're here for Kirkland and Jerry, here for me. I am. You've always been right here. somewhere in the world. So did did Vicky call Joe Carlino on the phone or did she did she drive the tape over to the police station herself? Neither. She tore it up right in front of my eyes. You want to celebrate with me? No, I didn't think so. It must be difficult being so wrong so often. Cheers. No, 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 no. She must have figured out that the tape was a phony. Oh, don't be a sore loser, Cynthia. No, Grant, you are the one who's going to lose if you don't open your eyes and see what Vicky is doing. That'll never happen, will it? All right, fine. If you won't, then I guess I will have to open your eyes for you. Cheers. What do you mean, who else do I love? You heard the question, but I bet you're not going to answer it. You already, you'll know the answer. I love your mom like I've never loved any other woman in my life. Never? Never. Will you look at me? I'm dressed in this getup. I'm getting ready to walk down the aisle. I never would have dreamed of myself doing this, not in a million years. And then I met your mom. And she changed my life. And here we are, on what's supposed to be one of the happiest days of her life. And when you look at her, she's miserable. And that's my fault? I didn't say that. Look, we all know that you can't stand me. But what I don't understand is if you love your mom, why do you want to hurt her like this? 
Why do I want to hurt Allie. Allie. Look, no. I know you're upset. But we've got a wedding party down there, and guests, and a bride who's waiting for her groom, and it would be nice if you were there, too. No, I can't. What do you mean, you can't? I know you're not into this wedding, but, I mean, come on, you've created a scene. This isn't like you. It's... It's not what you think. I, I, I didn't want to cause any trouble. Well, then why are you behaving this way? I... You're right. We should just go. Allie! Did you get anything out of her? Nothing that made sense. All right, fine. We're not going to waste any more time. Come on, your bride is waiting. You tore up the tape? Grant must have gone nuts. Okay, so what did Marley tell you? Well, she didn't, she didn't really want to say anything at first. What, what are you talking about? I thought you told me you were making headway. Yeah, uh, somebody got a, a threat to her, and uh, she thinks it was Grant. Grant threatened Marley? Threatened me. You? Yeah. Oh, come on, Vicky. It doesn't mean anything. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's just Grant's way to, to try to get her to shut up. No, no. Exactly my point, which means there's something for her to shut up about. I knew he was involved. I knew it. The only reason I told you this is so you would know what we're dealing with. I'm telling you, if he ever hurt you... He's not gonna hurt me. Molly's gonna spill everything she knows about Grant and Cindy, and we will not have to worry about those two ever again, okay? Okay. Looks like it is time to begin. I must prepare myself. Prepare for what? Because when the ceremony begins, there will not be a dry eye in my head. Oh, maybe you should give me some of those. Take. Thank you. You don't even know him, sweetie. No, you don't know him. You don't even know that he's the father of Joseph's baby. Tonight on NBC, a shocking two-hour special. Confirmation, the hard evidence of aliens among us. Then homicide and law and order join up to solve a sex murder. NBC Tonight.